What's up, guys? My name is Mama K, and I'm a Call of Duty streamer. I absolutely love Modern Warfare Zombies, and I'm going to teach you how to play. This is a part of a beginner's series where I break down how to play Modern Warfare Zombies thoroughly. So if you've already gotten started, this video isn't for you. I'm going to have more to come, but this is for the basics if you're brand new. I've already posted one video kind of on a thorough breakdown on what to expect if you're new to zombies, if you're new to COD zombies zombies or mono warfare zombies so be sure to check that out this video is going to be designed for game two so we're going to focus on how to loot gear up your operator a little more the different kinds of contracts and bosses that you're going to run in while playing mono warfare zombies now if you want to watch me play live i stream every single day on twitch my handle is mama k ttv that'll be linked in the description below now to get started, one of the things that I recommend is just working on your missions. I think it really does a good job of introducing you to the game. So the first one that we already did was literally opening up the map, pinging a contract, completing it and exfilling. So now this is the second mission that we have. It's called Treasure Hunter, and we're going to open 25 different loot caches. Again, this is a great job of introducing you to the game, but I'm going to help guide you along with that as well. So we're going to confirm our mission. We're in our inventory now. It doesn't matter what gun you use. You can literally use whatever gun, especially if you've been playing multi I highly recommend any type of automatic gun in AR and SMG. As you get started, we're really just going to be staying in tier one. That's the easiest level. It's the gray level. So what you bring in does not matter. Now, I did acquire something when I ran my first game, when I completed my first mission, one of the acquisitions, something I acquired was the Juggernaut can. This is a perk that's going to give you extra health. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that. So this is, again, one of the great things about this game is the things that you find in game you can bring out and use for your next game. I absolutely love that they added this mechanic in. It's way different than your classic zombies where you had to save up your points to then buy your perks. So I can literally start the game with Jug. I love that versatility. It is so amazing. So this is what we're bringing in. I am only level four and we're gonna get started for game two. All right, now that we're in game two, we're going to open up our map, take a look at where we are. Again, just as a reminder, these are tier based. So the further you go into the map, the harder it gets. So we call this tier one, this is tier two, and this is tier three. Right now, we're just going to stay in tier one. You don't really need anything fancy on your gun to do this. As I zoom into the map here, you can see all these little symbols. And just again, if you're looking for what I would say is probably the best perk to have, especially if you're new, is Juggernog. It's that little plus right there. So it is fairly close to me. Um, if I were to go buy that right now, I would need 2,500 points. But we crafted that in. So I am going to use that. I drink it and there I have the Juggernog health. So that's going to give me extra health. Now we're going to focus on these contracts in order from what I would say is easiest to hardest. So the first thing that I want to look for is cargo. That's going to be the easiest that you can get some money without doing a whole lot of work or um, a whole lot of danger. So let's go get a vehicle and let's get a cargo. All right, now that we are on our way, we have found our cargo contract. So as you hover over the contracts, it's going to tell you what it is. Deliver cargo. So this is the little stopwatch. So we're going to go in here and grab this. This is always going to put the vehicle in a nearby garage. So as you do some of these contracts over and over again, you're going to get an idea of where they start and where they end. So we're going to go in, we're going to grab the cargo, and essentially the point of this is we're stealing cargo from the mercs, and we're going to turn it over. So you'll need to drive it away, and you're going to have a heli chasing you. This is by far the easiest contract. I could do this without shooting anything technically, right? Once I open up this garage door, there's going to be mercs. You can get in the vehicle, but if you just want to take them out, you can also do that. Um, sometimes there's two, sometimes there's three in here. 
all right so we're gonna get in and then you're gonna see on the map you're gonna see your little cargo symbol that's where you have to take the cargo delivery to so you're just gonna drive down the road this is a great way for new players to get money because you don't have to fight a lot of zombies you just have to drive i would say the hardest part about this can be figuring out where to go um as you're getting used to the roads this is pretty simple to learn this is also the same i would say level of difficulty in um the next tier in tier two you 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 get past the zombies that may be at the cargo door and then um you just you're just driving through town here rolling through the country do, 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 do. <laughs> but the heli will shoot at you it's really not hard to avoid um you can just kind of stay out of its line of fire pretty easily so I'm turning in here. I don't actually know if this is going to be the correct spot. I usually don't until I get closer. So we're just going to keep going. You can see that heli landing in. Not that big heli. That is that is the Exfil helicopter there. All right, we're just going to come down here. Oh, well, he's doing a, a Merc contract. And then we fall under this hook. And there we go. Loot. So it's giving us a blue tool. So that's awesome. That's going to be better than the green one that we have and extra self revive. So always keep that. One of the other tips that I have for new zombies players as well is to loot that rift fast. I know you're going to be learning all the different things and what they mean, but the faster you loot, the better off you will be. I promise. Um, it, I've, I've seen so many folks go down because they take too long inside that rift but as you learn what things are get in and get out and that applies from some of the easiest things to some of the hardest things in game so i did grab that i'm in a safe spot i mean kill some of these zombies and then if i wanted to go back in i could take a look at the stuff in my backpack and not worry about being hit by zombies now it did give me a blue tool and i i already told you that this is not as strong the green one is not as strong as the the blue rare tool i could use that but i only need one gun in tier three so i'm actually not gonna waste that i'm gonna go ahead and keep it um you're gonna find lots of blue and green tools and those are gonna help you out just fine now i noticed that i now have eight thousand points so i'm going to go over to pack a punch let's show you how to go buy that so let's drive over to the pack a punch machine and we're gonna pack our gun and help us that is just gonna help us out before our next contract all right so now we are heading up to the pack a punch machine this one's a little wonky to get get up to i always mark it on the map so i know where to go i think there's stairs inside but i'm I, i'm not gonna be bothered with that <laughs> so this is how i get into this one whatever you want to do and then all you do is interact with that that's five thousand points and as you can see this is the pack one camo I love the camos for the pack of punches that they've implemented in COD Zombies. Like, it's so cool how they give a different design for each of the levels. There's one, two, and three. Um, I think that's something COD has always done well. If I wanted to pack two, reminder, I would have to go into tier two. If I wanted to pack three, I'd have to go into tier three. So, again, if I tried to do this right here, it says max level pack a punch reached in this zone. So, just keep that in mind. But now my gun is pack one and the rarity is blue it's going to be just fine for tier one which is what we're doing right now and then just as a reminder when you exfil with these guns they're going to go back to gray you're going to lose the rarity and the pack a punch you'll keep the guns and any attachments that are on them but you'll lose those packs also for simplicity's sake here's the stairs <laughs> or you can take the zip line, you know Whatever, whatever works for you. That's the great thing about zombies. You can literally do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. And I love it. All right. So now we are on the second easiest contract. This is a spore. 
So as you can see, it looks like a little egg. Let me zoom in on the map here so you can see that as well. You hover over, it says spore control. So we're going to grab this contract to activate it. Now, for spore contracts, what you need to do is there's going to be eggs that you will need to break open and shoot. To do those, you will need these inhibitors. Now, these will take the place of your tactical so my tactical the best one that i said and i always run is decoy so before i even pick those up i'm going to stow those i'm on mouse and keyboard so that's left click if you're on controller whatever that is you're going to go into the box equip these and then i if you have room i stow two so we're going to have i'm going to stow two sets i have a total of six there's going to be six eggs and you can see on the left hand side it says spores destroyed you're going to throw those i'm zero out of six so what i do is you're just gonna throw these i've used my two i'm gonna go in my backpack equip these i'm gonna throw this down and then you just shoot some of these zombies now now remember if you're if you're getting overwhelmed by the zombies just just give yourself some space put some space in between you and zombies these are tier one my gun is blue pack a punch one i'll have no problem taking these guys down just give yourself some space if you need to okay that's the biggest the most important thing in zombies that you can do just give yourself some space take your time and and you'll find you'll go down a lot less all right there so go. now that i can see these are red we're gonna go ahead and shoot these and now i have one out of six destroyed all right we're gonna shoot the next one i'm just gonna shoot some of these zombies and clear the area out All right, we're going to shoot the last one. Now, I have three left. I have two inhibitors right there. I have one in my stash. But you can also pick this one up if you'd like. So that's really cool. You can only pick yours up. So if you are doing this with the team, if one of your teammates throws it, they can pick up theirs that they put down, but, they, but you cannot pick up theirs. So I'm going to do the same thing like I did last time. I'm going to throw all three. There's two. Let's equip this one. Got a second one there. Now it's calling in some zombies, so I'm just going to shoot these. Also, I've got an extra one, so I can go ahead and throw that one down. And that's going to make that go faster as well. So if you did have more, you can absolutely throw two on one. Um, it, it, it's really up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do this. So I'm getting a little bit more zombies. Taking a little bit of damage. So I'm just going to give me some space in between them and me. I'm just going to shoot these zombies. Here's a power up. This is called a nuke. So as you see those come through, you can grab it. You can you can do whatever you want. This is going to give you points. It's going to clear the zombies in the area. So that is always something to grab, especially if you feel like you need to clear out the horde. That's a great option. All right, we're going to check our reward rift. I'm going to quickly grab that and that is the pack one crystal so this gun is already pack one if i wanted to use it on this i could but i'm not going to i'm going to save that we're going to bring it out that way i have it for next game because again in this game you don't really need more than one gun i always recommend just having one gun that way you can run with your fist but because i want to unlock this gun we're gonna go ahead and extract it and something else so this is my insured weapon if i were to find another gun that i didn't want i could drop this um but it's gonna put a, a cooldown timer on our insured weapon slot which means we couldn't bring in any gun that we want because right now we only have that one insured weapon slot so i want to make sure that i keep this especially while i'm getting started if you've unlocked the other spots then that's awesome you don't have to worry about that but for simplicity's sake at the beginning I want to make sure that I exfil with this SVA since I brought it in. All right, so we've now done a cargo, a spore contract, and next I would say is going to be a raid weapon stash. This looks like the little gun weapon safe. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that right here. These are ether tears or fast travel portals. So I'm going to take this. These are actually a super great way to get around the map. I pull my parachute as soon as I get through them. That's going to give you the maximum height. So you can kind of glide to where you need to. And then you can 
fall with style <laughs> all the way to your contract just make sure you pull your parachute because if you don't you will die <laughs> okay so we are going to go here and grab this all right and this is going to take us into a a nearby building and you are going to start the safe and there are going to be zombies that are attracted to this safe so just like i showed in my first video where we were in the mercs stronghold and completing this safe this is kind of the same thing instead of mercs we have zombies so i always recommend finding a safe spot to put your back so zombies are not going to spawn in behind me so i like to stay in this corner and right here in this one i just stay they're gonna come from here and over here so i like to just keep zombies in front of me and this makes it really easy so all you're gonna do is stay here and complete the safe now you are you can run around if that gets boring you know you can absolutely run out here it's whatever you want it, it really doesn't matter um whatever whatever your gameplay whatever you want to do if you want to loop while the safe is going off you can um but you do need to stay relatively close to the safe so right now mine is still going um but if i were to go out of the building here oh uh, how far can i actually get let's see wow wow okay all right so i got all the way out here before it stopped so you do need to stay close for it to keep going um right here's another power up that's going to reheal my shield so those are always good to grab and if you're on a team that's going to work for your entire team and now i have full armor so those are super great it helps all of your team And as you, as you complete the safe, as it gets up higher, you, you'll start to get more zombies too. So just keep that in mind. If you're starting to get attacked, um, let me re-equip my decoys because we didn't. But again, if you need the extra space, throw a decoy. Zombies are going to go out there. I can loot this. Green ether tool. I don't know if we need that, but we're just going to go ahead and grab it because I've got the space. Here is a, another power up. So this is going to fill your field upgrade. So I just used my energy mine. Look, it took out the zombies. I have full power and I can use that again. Also super great, super great power up to grab for you and your teammates. All right, so now we're on our way to our next contract. This is an Outlast contract. It looks like the little satellite dish when you hover over it. This is one of my favorite contracts. It spawns a lot of zombies in. So I will show you once we grab this, this is going to send you to a building. So we got to go to the one over here. One of my biggest tips to win zombies is you can outrun almost any enemy except for those dogs. Those dogs are little ankle biters. So make sure you turn around, take those out and kind of get them off you. If not, they'll continue to take your health. So we're going to run all the way over here into our outlast mission. And what you're going to do is you're going to stay inside this building um there's a device in here called the pnd so you have to activate that to get this started so we're going to hold this down activate it and what it's going to do so on the left side you can see analysis progress that's going to count up as you are inside the building when i go out it's going to stop it so you do have to be inside the building inside the area now this is very similar to the raid the reason why i put this one as a little bit harder is because this brings in more zombies but i recommend the same thing you want to find a spot where you can kind of watch your back the zombies are not going to hop up here they're all kind of spawning right here actually in front of me so um as you can see here too there's a dog those are hellhounds 
they explode and you will take fire damage from them if you don't have the perk phd that's the purple one phd flopper but i'm just sitting up here if i wanted to i could run around it's completely up to you whatever you want to do but i usually recommend staying in one spot if you're overwhelmed here's the nuke we can grab that again it's gonna give us a little bit of a break i do also know that some folks will um farm these if you're looking to get kills for your camo grind they will activate it they'll step out and the zombies will kind of keep spawning kind of go back in and out but we're just gonna stay in here and get this completed and then if you ever have any missions that requires you to kill the hellhounds you're absolutely going to want to come come in and do this And then just keep in mind, as you get up higher, you're going to get a little more zombies. So that 90 to 100%, it can get pretty, pretty rowdy if you're not ready. All right. We already have that perk elemental pop. If I wanted to stow that, I can. I'm going to go ahead. And then also, I'm just going to show you, I want to keep this self revive just in case. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. This thing right here is called a Casmir. So this purple whenever you see these if you wanted to buy those from tier three they are five thousand a piece but when you throw them it's going to suck in all the zombies so those are super great to have especially when you get into the harder stuff much later on but just wanted to show you what those look like those are super great to have or monkey <laughs> uh, you can throw that and then all the zombies if they were nearby are gonna come around to that and then they will explode so once i leave with those if those are not equipped i will lose those so that's why i threw that so i had space for those self revives um but keep in mind anything so like if i axle with this backpack right now for example i am going to lose this decoy i will actually lose these self revives but i will keep these tools the pack crystal and this perk can um so if you have any extra selfs those disappear you have to make sure they're equipped down here or if you have a kill streak you have to make sure that's equipped and that'll be down here and show you over here okay so let's see if we have time for one more i'm gonna show you an escort contract so that's the little tank on the map all right so we just grabbed the escort contract and that's going to call in an escort and we're gonna need to go over and find it So we're going to come over here to this ACV. You interact with the back to start it. And then what I do is just hop right on top. So if you have a sentry gun, one of the kill streaks, you can actually put it right on top. And that's going to help you take out some of the zombies. But what they're going to do is they're just going to keep spawning in. And you're going to protect it. So as the zombies hit it, it will take damage. All the zombies that are in front of it are going to get taken out. This is a pretty easy contract. I put it towards the end compared to some of the others because you do get some specials. So what I mean by specials are um, manglers. So there are manglers, mimics, and disciples. In this contract, you kind of see a few manglers and I'll show you what those look like once we get up there. If you don't know what a mangler is already. So I've got a zombie that's trying to hit that. Let me go ahead and throw my monkey here. You do have to stay close to the ECV or it will not go. And there, that zombie just... All right, there is no time limit on on this contract. Um, it's just the health. You have to keep the health up. So it's going to have a few different stops. And then as it stops, you're just going to get hordes of zombies that are attacking it. 
I also have my energy mine if I use that and I want to, if I get overwhelmed. I have my decoy grenade now, so I can also call that in to get them off. I'm at 90%. I'm going to get all these folks off. So it doesn't matter where you go. You can stay down. You can hop back on top. Look at them. <gasps> They're all waiting for me. Ooh, 500 kills and a single deployment. Let's go. Okay, so here we have our first elite. There's a mangler. He's a big old boy. So what you want to do is he has a cannon arm. And you want to you want to shoot that cannon arm um it's going to be on his left or well on the left side you'll see it um but shooting that arm is going to do more damage to him um i'm pack one blue rarity in tier one so that took him out just fine i'm gonna go ahead and use my energy mine getting a little bit of damage there from the fire that just gives me a little bit a little bit more space on the zombies like i said so right now this is the last stop it's making a loud noise and the zombies are kind of going around it so you just gotta kill the zombies until that takes off you just want to keep it safe There's another mangler. Shoot that cannon. He will shoot at you. Now he doesn't have it. I broke in his toy. Okay. So we're gonna. There's another one. But I'm pack pack one blue, so it does a great job. It does a great job of taking them out. There is napalm. So this is a fire mod. Um, that's actually going to do more damage on the manglers. Which is super great. This is a much busier exfil than the one I showed you guys in my first video. There's lots of zombies. One of the things that you can do with zombies, again, is just training them. I can deploy my energy mine. That's going to take a lot of them out. And I'm just going to shoot. Look at that. Look at that. We just cleared out all the zombies. some manglers oh he's on my team now all these zombies and because there's still kind of a lot here what i'm gonna do i can throw my energy mine oh and then grab this nuke now if that nuke wasn't there what i would also do is throw a decoy and they're all going to go to that while my heli goes up. Now, if you do happen to die while you were on this exfil, that's okay. It'll it'll pick you up um, as you leave. So nothing to worry about. You don't have a gas mask. There's a green one there as well. So end of game two. All right. So we just completed game two. We're going into game three. I just showed you guys my loadout. Here is what I have after I exfilled. So I can choose to keep this stuff in my backpack. I can choose to put it away. It's completely whatever you want to do, but we're going to go in and edit our inventory. I can press, I have R to unequip this gun. So I told you only bring in one gun. So since I found this HCR, it has a couple attachments on it. It unlocked that gun for me now. I'm going to go ahead and keep that on and put my SVA away. So we're just going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and use this blue tool on it. I don't need this green tool. So I'm going to unequip it. When I do that, it's going to go in my stash item. So this is not great to have, but for new players, it's okay to just have that as an extra because that's going to make your gun a little stronger. 
and then this crystal as a reminder is the pack a punch one so when we spawn into our third game we're going to have two great upgrades that's going to help me show you how to do the bounty contracts which i believe are the fastest way to make money let's let's get into it all right so now we've loaded into game three i can immediately open up my backpack and i'm going to pop the things that i brought in with me so we're going to put on this blue tool that increases the rarity of my gun we're going to put on this crystal so now i am pack one in blue and as i just showed you in last game that's exactly what i had that's going to be just perfect for tier one so you don't have to worry about making your gun any stronger if you're just staying in tier one so now i'm headed to the bounty contract this is the targets this contract is the fastest way to make money so what you'll see is a lot of people heading into tier three they'll run bounty contracts it is the fastest way to make money now the reason that i saved it for last is because if you are not prepared it can be one of the harder contracts because you are going to fight the elites so manglers mimics disciples you're gonna fight those harder bosses when you're in tier three you fight uh kevin that's a mega abomination we will show you those as we get further along so i did say this for last but now that my gun is blue and packed we're gonna be just fine you could probably do it with just pack and no rarity or um even just the blue tool but i always want to make sure especially as this is a beginner's guide we want to make sure that i have that i'm giving you enough tools to be successful and when i was first getting started i didn't necessarily want to jump into these bounties right away because they can be a little more difficult especially if you're coming in with no pack and a gray gun so just my advice but if you're looking to get money fast absolutely bounties also if you ever see these boxes with the uh ether crystals on there you always want to loot them they usually have the better stuff than just the regular caches so here we have a bounty that's hiding from me hello and it's telling me i'm looking for a mimic kevin Oh, there he is, standing in the corner. So I'm just going to shoot at the Mimic. One of the things about Mimics is they're spitters. So you got to watch out because that can hurt you. He can... Let me see. I'll also let, let him grab me here. He can tether you. Eh, he didn't do it. Let me let him. Hey, hey, come on. This is your chance. This is your chance. <laughs> he can grab you and pull you in, so... Just gotta watch out for that. Just little beefy boys. So mimics and bounties are just gonna be a little bit harder to kill than like your regular um, elites that you find. So when you're in tier one, the only bounties that you're going to find are um, mimics and manglers. So manglers are the ones with the cannons and um, those are gonna be the only ones in tier one. When you go into tier two, you can start to see manglers mimics and disciples so now we're gonna grab our second bounty and this is going to be a mangler so each of these elites they have their own different type of weakness so the mimic that i just killed is weak to the brain rot that's going to be the skull and the bones so if you want to put that on that's going to do extra damage to him right now it says locate the mangler and eliminate it oh there's a merc camp i don't want to go over there let me just swim over here i don't want to deal with the mercs right now you can run away from everything and zombies run away from everything all right so we're going to go over here and fight the mangler he's marked over there but what they are weak to is the fire napalm so i'm gonna go ahead and equip that to my gun that's all that'll also do a little extra damage to the regular zombies as well looks like there's someone over here exfilling so he may take out look he's doing a good job training look at him in his ether shroud all right here's my bounty I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of space and shoot him over here all right there we go Gives me a shatter blast ammo mod and my first schematic. Let's let's throw a decoy so I can get back in there because again, 
don't want to be in that rift for too long especially when zombies are approaching so we're gonna grab this so when you see this yellow plan that is a schematic that is a plan it says stamina up recipe so i will be able to craft that it'll be our first schematic that we can craft on this account if i were to exfil not ready to exfil quite yet so we're just going to keep that in my bag but anytime you see recipe you're going to want to put that in there that is how you craft your schematics okay so now those are all of the regular zombies contracts so what i'm going to show you now there are two mercenary contracts there's an ether extractor and a defend the ground station i'm going to do see this that that's just a visual glitch if you see that just it, it's kind of it's kind of annoying but um sometimes you can drop your gun and it'll go away sometimes it doesn't it's just it's just visual um okay so we're going to do defend the ground station the only time you will ever do this is when it's for a mission <laughs> this one this folks do not do the merc contracts kind of a waste of your time they take too long and you don't get a lot of money so we have to collect data from seismic refractors so we're going to activate each of these these are marked on your map you will have zombies spawn in as you are completing this but we're just going to go from one to the other you do have to do this for a mission later on and I'll, I'll i'll make another video on all the act one missions um but i think that was the only time that i ever did this mission um like i said most folks are running bounty contracts or cargoes those are those are great as you're getting started okay so now that we have gotten all three it's going to send you to a location we have to activate the server to start the upload so right here you have a computer we're going to interact with that to begin the transmission and that's going to make all kinds of noise that's going to bring in both zombies and mercs so we have to protect the server from the mercs the mercs are going to come in and try and shoot that oh there's a shieldy boy i'm going to throw my fire at him whatever attack um lethal you have just take him out now mercs i always recommend getting behind cover they're all trying to shoot this computer. Oh, oh. Played up, played up. I don't have any plates, so I'm just going to take a little bit of cover. And I can see them through the walls because I have death perception on. So that's that perk behind me. I got that as my reward. My computer's at 91%. Look, I can see... You have to watch out for those for those guys the recon they they are fast and they will melee you so quickly so all i'm doing here is just hiding you have to this takes what two three minutes and what they're doing is they're trying to attack the computer so i do not have another Let's energy mine him bye <laughs> i do like the energy mines those are good for getting started especially if you're by yourself and you're not worrying about picking up other teammates there's a thick boy you're just getting all kinds of mercs i'm starting to get hit let's take cover a little bit more my computer's at 85 so we're just watching that again this is not a good use of your time um it's only good for the missions we're at 85 percent i'm shocked that we actually don't have more zombies i figured there would be more zombies coming in another shieldy boy i'm gonna shoot his arm because i don't have my energy mine I'm gonna shoot his arm there and that's gonna do damage to him as well I, I didn't have my energy mine or a thermite to throw at him we're just clearing out all the mercs 10 more seconds
There we go. And then with that one, it does not kill the mercs. So at the end of the contract, usually when those reward respawns, they'll take out any zombies that are nearby. It does not do that with the mercs. So just be careful that they're not shooting you while you're trying to get into your reward rift. Already got a medium backpack. I don't have dead shot. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that. And I can also use elemental pop. I just happen to stow that. Um, that's going to trigger a random ammo mod, explosive, freeze, fire, um, brain rot. So not a bad perk to have. Okay. All right. And then the last contract that we have is going to be the ether extractors. It looks like there's one up here. So let's go do that. And I am going to cautiously go steal a vehicle from the mercs. So just all the mercs. While we're talking about mercs, so we have briefly talked about gas masks. So those are good if you are inside the storm or if you're completing these infested strongholds. Uh, or ether nests. So those gas masks help you kind of survive. The gray um the green ones are basic. The purple ones are the more durable ones. You can get those from merc camps um, or mercenary convoys. They can sometimes drop them. So if you ever see a purple gas mask, you can go ahead and grab it. Or you can buy one from tier 3. Completely up to you. All right, so now we are grabbing the ether extractor. So this is going to be a contract with zombies and mercs. So it's calling in three different ether extractors. You can look on my left hand side of the screen and it'll say disable the three. So it doesn't matter what order you can go in. You do have a time limit of three minutes. So you have to be aware of that or you will fail. So what I will do is I will head up to one of them. And just like the last one, you're just going to take your time and shoot the mercs. You're going to have more spawn in. So watch out for those. My perk is showing me I can see him. All right. Looks like there's no more around this one. So I'm going to interact with this. You do have to be cautious because the other ones. Oh, oh no. So see, ah, the mercs, the mercs, they are silent and deadly. <laughs> so I do have a silver vibe, so I don't have to worry about that. So I can pick myself up. And because I always grab extra self revives, I even got an extra one in case I were to die again. All right, we're going to shoot this, this buddy. All right. And interact with this again. Look, get up, brother. You go away, dude. Excuse me. Again, folks, do not do these contracts um, unless you need to for a mission. It's just not time and cost effective. All right, let's see if we can interact with this one more time without dying. All right, there we go. On to the next one. But yeah, those those recons can be super challenging. Um, they're just so fast. You don't hear them. They're silent and deadly. Wow. Okay, so now I am using... I told you, if I am most likely... To, oh my gosh. If I'm most likely to die, it's going to be... It's going to be on here. So I do not have any more self-revive. So I need to be a little more cautious. I have one minute left. And we have 44 seconds left. For the record, I did not die on purpose. <laughs> if I am most likely to die, it is going to be to mercs, and that's okay. Everybody dies in this game. At one point, you are going to die and lose all your stuff. That's, that's fine. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Everything can be can be retrieved again. Um, but if you do go down, you don't have a self revive. You can enter in the text box. Um, here, let me let me hide my camera real fast. And whatever your controls are to type in the game, you can ask for a res. Um, but if you're doing that, what I highly recommend is you tell people where you are. 
So you have the coordinates up at the top here and on the side. So if I were to die right now, if I hover over my body, I would say I see C1, say res C1. So if you're asking for help, always tell people where you are. The zombies community is super amazing. Folks are usually really good about picking people up. I know if my squad and I see someone down, we always head in to go to go pick folks up. So make sure you just tell them where you are. <laughs> uh, but that's how you read the coordinates. And then from my rift, I got the epic ether tool. That is awesome for tier one. That is the second highest tool. If I wanted to go ahead and use that, I could, but I'm going to go ahead and save that for later because right now we are just in tier one. All right, so those are all the contracts, everything that you can run into in a game. Hopefully that made sense. I kind of ran through them from easiest to hardest, from the zombies to the mercs. So if you are looking for the fastest way to make money, I would highly recommend the bounty contracts. If you're not ready for that, if your gun is just not strong enough, I would do the deliver cargoes. Now I do need to go get a self revive, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna go do that. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. If you want to watch me stream live, I stream daily on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mamaktv. That'll be linked below as well. And if you want to join the Discord to connect with me offline to play games, if you need help getting any of your schematics or doing some of this hard stuff, I play with followers and help them every single day. That Discord is discord.gg slash mamakay. Good luck.